It's 9.37 a.m. And there used to be a rug here. But it's not here anymore. Instead, it's over here. And it's all bunched up. And the other half of it is over here. Now I woke up around 7 this morning to feed the inside cats because they were bothering me for food. So sometime between 7 and 9.30 they decided to make this hallway into a slip and slide. Here's Simba. Hello Simba. Are you the one that was having fun with the rug? Simba's keeping an eye on the patio. 10.15 a.m. Stella has claimed my legs as hers. Ten forty-five a.m. Boo was sleeping on the aqua chair. He just got off when I opened the door. I'm gonna give them some food. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Hmm. So there's Boo's food. I'm gonna put Hydrox's food over there. I have to be out of here in literally five minutes because I'm going somewhere that closes in ten minutes. So. There's Hydrox's food. All three of those need to be cleaned up later. Good boy, Boo. You're a good boy. Okay. He really likes being petted. His fur is very warm. I guess he was laying in the sun somewhere. The chair's not in the sun, but maybe before he was laying on that because he wasn't laying on it earlier. Okay, I gotta get going, boo. It is 2 p.m. And it is a beautiful day, and I want to come out here and spend some time with Boo. Oh, Boo. I just put clean water in the bowl. It looked like there was some algae blooming in the bottom of it, so I scrubbed it. I'm laying on the lounge chair, and Boo just walked over to me. He was laying in the shade. He likes to lay in the shade. He probably gets hot with the black fur. How you doing, Boo? How you doing, Boo? Okay, guys, so he's laying here and I'm rubbing his head. And this ear, this is the right ear, it's completely clean. And here's his other ear. And this ear is completely clean also. See? I, mean, I don't know if you could see that. I know this is not the camera that focuses good. But look, I'm touching his ear. And I'm looking inside of it. Okay. So, I mean, there there is some... There is a little bit of darkness in this ear, but I think it's just his coloring. Right? Right there, boo? Let me see inside your ear. Let me see. Let me see inside your ear. Yeah. You hang out, Boo. It's about 3 p.m. And I'm going to give Boo some treats.
He hasn't had treats in a while, right, Boo? He ate them all. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see him chew them. He just like swallowed them whole. Good boy, boo. Okay, he ate his treats. Do you like your treats? He's looking for more, but he had quite a bit. I was giving him four or five at a time. I still toss the treats to him because he does tend to scratch me for them. They're near your paw. There's Kim. Yeah. You guys want some treats? It is 3.23 p.m. Boo had some treats outside, so now I'm giving the inside cat some treats. I called for Splash. I don't know where he is. Eat your own. Okay. Yep.
Some more? You guys want more treats? Simba, don't even. Don't even look at Stella's treats. Don't look at your mommy's treats. That's her. That's Stella's. Go ahead, Stella. Eat it. You have your own, Simba. Okay. Come on. That's it. No more. I got treats. Eat your treats, Flashy. Eat them. Splashy, you know if you don't eat your treats, Simba's going to eat them. You want Simba to eat your treats? They're coming. Eat them. Good boy. Hey, Stella. Your mommy came to watch you eat your treats. Good boy, Slash. Good boy. Those are your treats. Stella followed me downstairs so she could keep an eye on what I'm doing. She's looking for any loose treats. I give her a treat. Want it? You gonna eat it, Stella? Simba gonna eat it. Check out this awesome Halloween decoration that I found at Five Below. It was $4. Look at the top, it looks just like Boo. It says Boo Boulevard. Then it says Haunted Highway, Dead End, and Wicked Witch Way. Hey Boo, you like it? You like your street sign? It's like a little road sign for you. Boo, it says Boo Boulevard. See, it has you on it and your name. It looks just like you, boo. Here's the sign. I didn't want to put it on Hydrox's side of the patio, so I put it on this side of the patio. And I had to dig a hole to put it in. I can't believe how dry and hard the dirt in this section is. Like, I thought I would just be able to like push it into the ground. No, I, I had to really dig it. And even then, it's not too sturdy because um, the hole's not all that deep. So I put that rock on the front of it, and if it gets knocked over or anything, I'll just figure out another way to put it up. 4 p.m. Now Stella's checking out the ice cube. I just give her a new one, because the other one is practically all melted. They'll both melt into a puddle on this tray, but I'm going to wash the tray up 
later. I'm in cleaning mode right now. These trays are the same kind of trays that you get at a fast food restaurant. I found them in a thrift shop earlier this year. They had never been used. They were all brand new. There was a whole stack of like four or five of them. They were a dollar each, so I bought them all. And uh, I use them for the cats. I like them because they're a good size. Um, then there's also the lip around the edge, so any spills are usually contained to the tray. And they're easy to clean and wipe up. It is 6.20 p.m. and Boo's hanging out on the aqua chair near the door, which is cool because he's right near the door. He's also near the open window, but all the cats are downstairs. I'm going to give Boo some of the wet food. How you doing, Boo? Okay. So here's his food he's going to eat on his favorite shiny dish. And there's the Boo Boulevard sign. It looks so cute. Boo has been on very good behavior lately. Like, really good behavior. Good boy, Boo. You're a good boy. Now he's walking in circles around me, rubbing up all against me. Good boy, Boo. You're a good boy. I'm gonna eat food. I still have to feed the inside cats. Okay, so I am going to attempt to scoop some of the dry food out of the feeder. Because I still have not taken the second feeding off. I have to do that. Did you see that? How he got like all upset that I was taking the food? Okay. Sorry, boo. Gonna give this to Hydrox. See the ants? Eat your food, I'm gonna go feed the inside cats, okay? Gonna feed the other cats, okay? Okay. I'll come back out. I'm gonna come right back out, okay? Boo ate his food. He drank all the liquid and he pushed everything else around, but he ate some of it also. He ate all the dry. Good boy. I just took out the brush. Oh yeah, look at this. Watch. So the brush is, brush is up here, guys. Watch. He loves the brush.
You know, I bought this brush at a Dollar Tree and I've never seen it there again. Of course, I've only been to Dollar Tree like two or three times since I saw this brush, but... I could get like 20 of these brushes and like duct tape the handles onto like a large piece of wood and then Boo could just like roll around all over them and brush himself. He's all excited. Sharpening his claws. Sharpening his claws for his prey. Let go, Boo. Let go. About this one? Wow, good thing he didn't have my finger. He was fast with that claw. miss all the good jumps because there's no way that I can get the camera that fast. Like your toy? Wow, wow, you guys missed that jump. So he's totally in sport mode right now. playing for the sport of it. And he like jumps behind the tent. Oh my 
Do you see his claws? Do you see how big they are? This is a strong cat. I gotta go put bug spray on, I'm getting all bit up. The sky looks pretty cool tonight. I just put a whole bunch of bug spray on and I am so itchy today, like it is ridiculous. Probably because I've been eating a bunch of garbage lately. Boo looks slick. Right now, he looks slick. He's not wet. He looks like he's been oiled down, but he's just shiny. Boo gets really serious when he plays with this toy. Like, this is not sport right now. This is like hunting. Wow, oh my god, did you guys see how high he just jumped? He was like a gymnast. It looks like Hydrox ate his wet food. It is 7.25 p.m. And I just played with Boo for a long time. And I just brushed him, and now he's finishing his food. I'm probably going to go inside, but I have to put away this lounge chair, and I don't want to freak him out because it'll be loud when I uh, fold it up. So I'm just gonna sit here until he's done eating. It is now 7.30 and I am going to go inside. Okay, Boo, have a good night, Boo. Don't get yourself in any fights. I see you looking at the driveway area. I say good night to you, Boo. I say good night. Come here, stay in your apartment.
okay? Stay on your chair. Stay in your chair and stay in your apartment and be good, boo. Don't start fights. Don't start fights. Got it? Be a nice boy. You're a nice boy, boo. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, boo. It is 8.30 a.m. Stella woke me up a little while ago. There's Boo outside. He's drinking his water. I said hello to him through the window. And now he's hanging out by the back door. But he has dry food in that feeder. So... I don't rush to give him any wet food since he has the dry food. The inside cats are going to get their wet food. These are the primal raw uh, nuggets. That I call them bricks. And uh, I have to cut these up for the cats. I was wrapping Christmas presents yesterday. Yes, I know. It is very early to be wrapping Christmas presents. And it's a really long story. But um, I was wrapping Christmas presents yesterday. And I guess I left a piece of wrapping paper out. And... This is what happened to it. It looks like there's some kind of show on the patio. Both of the boys have been watching it. And if you notice, they're sitting on furniture that used to have a towel on it. There used to be a towel on this entire piece of furniture. I don't know what they did with it. I don't see anything on the patio. Boo is on the aqua chair. I don't know if you guys could see it very well through this door, but he's on the chair. That's what they're looking at. They're probably talking to him through the window. There's Simba and there's Boo. Hello, Boo. They were talking to each other. Simba, Splash, and Boo. If you guys were visualizing this, it's working. Keep visualizing this positive outcome of the cats getting along together through the screen. And so far, I don't see any marks on the screen at all, other than that one little mark when Stella stuck her claws through it the other day. Good boy, Simba. You like Boo? You like Boo? Okay, Stella. It is 10 a.m. and I am just about to go bring some food out to Boo. Here's Simba and there's Boo. 
They're kind of hanging out with each other through the window. Hey, Boo. You see Simba? Simba, you like Boo? You like Boo? Hey, Boo. I'm leaning on Simba's back as I'm filming this. Hello, Boo. See? And there's Simba. And there's Boo. Hey, doing, Boo? You like Boo, Simba? I just walked downstairs to give Boo some food and look what I saw. Splash. I thought Simba was the one that did this to the wrapping paper, but it appears it's Splash. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Hello. This is how he says hello to me. He rolls around. This is what the cats are getting fed today. I found these bowls um, in my basement. I guess I bought them a while ago. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree. They were like a dollar each. And I've never used them. And they have rubber all around the bottom. And they are small little cat sized bowls. Um, so I'm gonna see how these work out. I think they're a little bit too small. So there is Boo's bowl. Eat your food, Boo. He's looking at it like, what is this, a little tiny appetizer? Okay, and this is I'm going to give to Hydrox. Eat your food, Boo. Yeah, Boo, he wanted to be petted. Okay, Boo. You're a good boy. So there's the comparison in the bowl sizes. This is larger and flatter, and this one is smaller. I actually like this one better because it has the flat bottom and it's just easier to wash. I just came inside to clean the stainless steel bowl and this is what I found. So Boo ate most of his food, which is good. He drank all the liquid, and it looks like he even ate the flea away and everything. He just headbutted my arm that's holding the camera. Hey, Boo. Um, today they ate the Sheba chicken pate. All right, guys, so I was just petting Boo, and um, I got a really good look in this ear the ear that I thought was like really dirty and I was worried that it had like ear mites. And right now that ear is looking like really clean. So both of his ears are looking really, really good. So I think I am going to take them off the parasite drops within like a day or two. And um, th they've had a good course of what, two or three weeks on those drops now. So, so they shouldn't have any issues with mites or worms or anything like that. I'll see you later, Boo. These are so cool. I have no idea what they are, but they're so cool. They would look really good near my front yard. It's around 3 p.m. right now. I'm just getting home. I ran a few more errands than I thought I would. And here's Boo. He's hanging out in the shade by the bushes. He looks tired. Looks like he's been sleeping. Hey, Boo! Yeah, he yawned. He's tired. It is 3.15 p.m. I just put everything away and I'm going to give the inside cat some treats. I have not cleaned up that paper yet. I figure I'll let them just have a good time with it for a while. I'll clean it up later, and I'm going to give them these Blue Wilderness Chicken and Turkey Recipe Treats. Simba loves these. Splash likes them. Stella will not eat them for some reason. I have no idea. So for Stella, I have these Temptations mix-ups. I think Stella likes the junk food. Not that I'm calling Temptations junk food. It's just that uh, the ingredients in the Temptations are not as good as the ingredients in the Blue Wilderness. Simba ate his treats, Splash ate his treats, 
and still is eating her treats, but I had to hold Simba back. Because Simba would eat him. Okay, guys. Want more? So now I'm outside, and I am going to give Boo some treats also. We have these uh, kitty cravings, crunchy cat treats with real chicken. Boo likes these. These ones I keep in the garage for him. So I'll give him some. Okay, Boo! What's the matter? Hold on. I'm trying to get a camera shot for you guys, and I was going to go inside and get a, like a little tripod, but Boo's not going to let me, so maybe next time. I'll just let him finish that bag. Like your treats, Boo, I'm sorry, but that's the end of the bag. There's no more. So I bought these treats because I like the ingredients. Uh, Deboned chicken, chicken meal, brown rice, barley, oatmeal, peas, chicken fat, natural flavor, glucono, delta, lactone, potassium chloride, citric acid, preserved with mixed tocopherols oil of rosemary. While they do have some grains in them with the brown rice, barley, and oatmeal, those grains are not as bad as uh, soy, corn, or wheat. It actually says that in the paragraph above it, with none of the corn, wheat, soy, or artificial preservatives, colors, and flavors that Floyd finds unacceptable. Kitty cravings are a treat that every cat lover will love. So these kitty cravings cat treats are definitely a step above you know, your typical temptations or friskies treats. So here is Hydrox's bowl. And it's a stainless steel bowl with rubber around the bottom edge. And um, the ants have still gotten into the bowl. You see them all crawling around? I'm going to squish as many as I can. Okay, so I just took out the blanket and the brush. And the blanket scared Boo away. So he's sitting in the bushes right now. There you go, Boo. Brushy, you look nice. Boo has been behaving so well the past few days. But I don't want to jinx anything, but like, he's just being more gentle. You want me to brush you? If you want me to brush you, I have to touch the brush. Yeah, I gotta touch the brush. I know you like the brush. But if you want me to brush you, I gotta touch it. Brush you, boo? Boo's getting used to being brushed. I want, I want you guys to see his front paws because he's like kneading the air. Watch his face and watch his paws. Oh, then you gotta move. You see the ear? Look in the ear. It looked clean to me. Okay, boo. I'll take your picture because you're so pretty. Come on.
Good for you. You did a good job cleaning your ears, boo. Now, one of the things that I did today was I did go to a Dollar Tree and I did look for this brush or something similar to this brush, and they had nothing. Because um, this one has like softer bristles. They had one kind of like this, but it was like plastic, and although it had bristles similar to this, they were really hard and rigid, so that was the big difference. And I also went to another dollar store, and they had nothing even remotely like this, so... If they had them, I was going to buy a whole bunch and make Boo a brushing board. Boo's looking very handsome today. See how nice his fur looks? Boo thinks I'm his hairdresser. Yeah, he thinks I'm his hairdresser and his stylist. Okay, boo, I understand. I stopped for a second because I wanted to get more comfortable. See, I could see Boo and Stella getting into conflict because Stella thinks she's the queen and Boo thinks he's the king. Now, potentially they might be able to get along like that, but probably not. Unless Boo realizes that, you know, Stella's the queen. Boo, you know Stella's the queen, right? I don't want to uh, rough him up too much right now because it's still quite hot out in like the middle of the day. I feel like normally when the feral cats play, like when Stella and her kittens were living outside, their playtime was around uh, dawn. It was like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Like I would get up and I would look and they would all be playing. And then the other playtime was like right around uh, dusk also. like around dinner time for them, like around six, seven, eight-ish, depending on the season. Because, um, you know, that is their hunting time. They usually hunt like when the sun goes up and when the sun goes down, so that's more their natural time to play. And then in, in the middle of the day, they would all just be sleeping somewhere, so I think I'm just going to let Boo hang out here because there's a lot of other things I want to be doing right now. It's funny what they like to play with. Where's his new Kong toy with the feather? Oh, it's still in the uh, carrier. I don't know where he's going. Maybe he's going to go take a poop somewhere. I've never seen him poop in my yard. When I first moved into this house, one of the things that I noticed was that there would be cat poop on the lawn. Like, that first year, um, I didn't have a landscaper, so I did some of the yard work myself. And, like, I would notice cat poop on the yard. And then, obviously, I noticed all the feral cats around. 
So every time I saw one, I made a deal with them. I said, listen guys, you don't poop in my yard and I'll give you some food. And ever since I made that deal with them, they haven't pooped in my yard. And I give them food. It's like five minutes later, Abu just came back from the other side of the fence. Hey, Boo. So I've been weeding and cleaning out all the flower pots. That one's cleaned out. That one's cleaned out. I left the tomato plants because they still have some tomatoes on them. That's cleaned out. That's cleaned out. That's cleaned out. And these are cleaned out. I took some of the other portulacas and put them in here. I'm just kind of experimenting with those just to see what they do. I'm testing out some Halloween costumes on Simba. What do you guys think of the witch's hat? I can't get him to move. I think he's a little embarrassed by it. Simba, turn towards me so I could see you. Simba, you look so pretty. Simba. Simba. These are the Trader Joe's wild caught unsalted sardines in spring water. These are the only sardines I will feed my cats because they literally only have two ingredients. The ingredients are sardines and spring water. There's no added salt. There's no added flavorings. There's no added anything. Now, I don't feed this to the cats on a regular basis, but since the cats did ask for more fishy food um, when they talked to Sonia the other day, um, I am going to try to give them fish once a week. I'm thinking fish on Fridays, maybe also on Sundays. So they are going to get uh, some of these sardines uh, for dinner. They're going to get their raw food, and then they're just going to get a few pieces of these sardines. I'm also going to feed these sardines to Boo and to Hydrox, and I'm just curious to see how they like them. And this is what the sardines look like inside of the can. There is definitely a fishy aroma emanating from these sardines. Hey, Stella. Stella is waiting to eat. And here's Splash. Hello, Splash. You want to eat some sardines? Splash is all happy to be eating sardines. And here's Simba. Simba's the one who asked me for fish this morning. When I was giving him breakfast, he was a little upset that they didn't have any fishy food. Stella just keeps rubbing up against my legs like crazy. Want some sardines, Stella? Hello, Splash. Would you like some sardines, too? That's one of his safe places. He'll go in and out of there, see? That's what he does. So here's their platter. Uh, there's the sardines, and there's the raw food. There's the sardines, there's the sardines, there's the raw food. Six twenty-five p.m. I just opened the door, and this is what I found. Boo, sprawled out on the back step. Okay, so he's getting sardines, and I also gave him half of a Sheba Perfect Portion turkey. I mixed it in with that. I didn't have any uh, Sheba Perfect Portion fish. I would have mixed that in, but I didn't have any. So that's what he's getting, and he's getting his flea away. And uh, for now, he's done on those parasite drops. You like fish? Do you like fish? Boo, do you like fish? And then this is Hydrox's. I'm going to give him some dry food on there. Now they each have a window. I opened up the other window before. Boo is enjoying his food. He loves it when I give him the liquid. Here's Hydrox's plate, I just put some of the dry food on it. I've not seen Hydrox today, I don't know where he is. But it looks like he ate some of the food before. I mean, there's still ants here. I put stuff down for ants the other day, but I'll put more down. So I'm gonna squash these ants before I put his food over there. Okay guys, so let's test out that water moat theory. People say that if you put a plate of food in like with water around it, that the ants can't get to it. The problem with this is that the plate is actually like floating in the water. So maybe I need to let more water out. 
Okay, I let a little bit of water out, but it still feels like the plate is floating around. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this here and let's see what happens. Let's see if the ants get to it. Okay, I just took the second feeding away uh, in the afternoon. And now there's just the morning feeding. And I don't know if you guys could see that, but there's like this weird discoloration on the display. I've never seen that before. I don't know what that's from. 7 p.m. I just came outside to spend some time with Boo because it's going to be getting dark soon, so I like to spend, I don't know, maybe like a half hour with him. And then I go in, and then uh, the cats, they get to spend time with me inside. Boo came to rub up against me. These plants are not doing well. I don't know if it's too much rain or what. It was the first year that I had them and I'm trying to decide what I want to do with them. Do I just toss them or do I try to like overwinter them? Some people say that uh, they drop seed and then they come up the next year. They're not perennials, they're annuals, but um, a lot of people say that they can come up like perennials. Some people say to um, you know, to save them, to dig them up and put them in a pot with like sandy soil and just kind of let them hibernate during the winter. Other people say just ignore it and then they'll come up next year anyway. I'm not sure what I want to do with them, but I did enjoy them in these pots this summer because it gets so hot on this patio. It's really like drought conditions and those worked well here. So did you see that look on his face? That was his brushing me look. And I'm, I don't even have a brush in my hand. I'm just using my fingers. So it looks like he might be transitioning from brushing to petting. So I moved the aqua chair from beside the door and I put this cat condo here instead. The reason why I did that is because the seat of the chair is about the same height as this middle tier of this cat condo. And this tier is higher uh, than the chair. So I'm thinking if I could get Boo up here, then he has better access of smelling the other cats in the window. and. They have better access to ham, and uh, that could work out. So I have the wiggly toy here. I'm trying to get him up top here. And there's Splash. Splash is in the window. And Splash is not running away. He's like looking. He's like curious. Come on. Jump up, jump, jump, jump. Considering Splash is like afraid of everything, it's really kind of amazing that he's sticking his head in the window to see what's going on. Is he gonna jump up? Jump up! Jump up! 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 Boo! Up! Splash is still watching.
I don't really like having rose bushes here with all those thorns, but again, I did not plant these bushes. I just am not taking them out or anything. Hey, Splash. You want to play with Boo? Okay, I just moved the chair up here. It's in front of the condo. I just want to see what he does. There's Boo, and there's Splash. I think I need to turn the chair sideways, but not while he's on it, he'll freak. Here. So here's the deal. If I turn the chair sideways this way, I don't think he's going to crawl on the back. If he crawls on the back, potentially it'll knock the chair over. But if he crawls sideways like this, I don't think there's going to be any issues. So let's see what happens. Splash is still in the window. And he's laying down. Is he going to jump up there for it? Let's see what happens. Boo just looked at Splash. He might be afraid Splash is gonna get him. There he goes. And there goes Splash. Splash just ran. Splash is gonna come around to the door. Hmm. Sit up there. Boo looks in the window to make sure there's no cats there. Go ahead. Go up, Boo. Come on, go up. You're so close. You're so close. Look who it is. It's Splash. Well, this is good for Boo also, because this is something new for him, other than just playing on the rug all the time. It's good to kind of change things up. Okay, so I just put the blue towel on this chair, so the questions are, do I leave the towel this way, or do I put the towel more across like this? I'm thinking you would like it like this because that's kind of how he has it at the patio. So I'm going to leave it like this for now and see what happens. Who's in the driveway right now? He looks like he's stalking Hydrox, but I don't see Hydrox. Come on! Come on! You just missed it because I thought I had the camera on, but I didn't have the camera on. So I hit the brush, and he came running all the way from the driveway. Just like he came straight to the brush right then also. So it's good to know that the brush is still a good distraction for him. Okay, Boo, I'll brush you for a few minutes and I gotta go inside, okay? This cat has been brushed like five times today. I'm going inside and you're gonna be a good boy. You're gonna be a good boy, right? Be a good boy. Not going to cause any problems with anybody, right? Finish your dinner. 
and then go hang out, okay? It's 10.45 p.m. I'm sitting here working on some video editing. And here's Stella hanging out on her scratch and roll, watching me. And there's Simba and Splash hanging out, watching me also. Hey, Splash. They all just had treats. It is 12.27 a.m. I'm just about to go to bed. Can you guys see this through the door? Boo is sleeping on the blue towel on the chair right next to the door. It is 8.20 a.m. I'm just getting up to feed the inside cats. And there's Splash. Hanging out on top of the cat tree. Okay, I'm looking outside, and Boo is exactly where I left him last night when I went to bed. He's still curled up on this chair near the door. He must really like this spot. Okay, Stella, you ready to eat? Okay, Simba, you ready to eat? You guys ready? Okay, let's go. So this paper looks like it's even more shredded today, and today is the day I'm cleaning all this stuff up. It is 9.45 a.m. I just came out with the food for the outside cats, but I don't know where Boo is. He was sitting on the chair before, but I don't know where he went. Hey, Boo! There he is. See him? See him coming? He knows his name. How you doing, Boo? I think he's been out hunting. Were you hunting? Were you out hunting, Boo? How you doing, Boo? Huh? You out hunting? Are you okay? Are you okay today? He's acting a little strange today. Good boy, yeah, good boy, yeah, good boy. He doesn't look like he has any new scratches or anything, so that's good. So Stella's watching from the door. Splash and Simba are watching from the window. They're all very interested. And what I realized this morning is that if Boo sleeps here, and if I could get him up here, then I might be able to get him in there, in the window. If I shut the door to this room, and open the window, I might be able to get Boo in the window, in which case that could be interesting because then I could get him in that room, he could be separate from the other cats, and I could see how that goes. The problem with going in the door is I would have to have all the cats upstairs and blocked off from the downstairs area. I don't really want Boo to have full run of my upstairs until I know he's okay inside so he would have to go inside and go downstairs because that's kind of like the cat's area and based on his behavior downstairs would be whether he comes upstairs because that's what all the other cats did I just I don't want a cat whose behavior I don't trust to be upstairs just because there's too much stuff to get ruined upstairs like it's you know we're the rugs and the furniture are um, versus downstairs it's just kind of like a rec room area so that means if I let Boo downstairs the other cats have to be shut upstairs and this is all the logistics stuff I have to kind of think about so this is what is left of Hydrox's food I'm assuming like raccoons or something got to it but um, you know, I can't say for sure but look 
There's an ant. There are several ants in that blue dish. So somehow they crossed the water moat. 10.37 a.m. All of the litter boxes in the house have been changed. They all have brand new litter in them. Everything has been vacuumed except for Stella already used this one. So there's a little stuff. There's a little bit of litter all over the place. The green rug has been vacuumed. All of the paper has been cleaned up. I moved this ottoman back by the chair where it belongs, but what happens is the cats jump on this ottoman and they actually move the ottoman back here near the cat tower. I don't like it near the cat tower because this is a scratching post and this is a scratching post and when the ottoman is right here, they can't really use this as a scratching post. They actually use the ottoman more like a trampoline and they they jump on the ottoman and then jump on here or vice versa they'll jump off the cat tower onto the ottoman and off so right now moving the ottoman here let's see how long it takes for them to move it back I'm also vacuuming the upstairs room so this litter box has been changed also and there's a bunch of litter on the floor and I want to get the litter up but the vacuum was not doing a good job it's just like a standard upright vacuum it's not even a good upright vacuum and that's why there was no suction on it do you see this it's like a giant ball of cat hair. It is so gross. I'm, I'm just so like skeeved out, but yeah, I need to upgrade to a better vacuum. It is 10.45 a.m. and Hydrox has not come out for his food. I don't know where he is. Actually, he must be psychic because there he is coming across the street. And I don't know where Boo is. I don't see him on the side of the house. He's not back here on the patio. He might be in the other yard, but I don't want to call him right now because I have to go back inside. Hydrox was laying near the car and I had to pull the food out so he could see it and then he went to eat the food. I thought I heard someone squeaking. It's Boo. What are you doing, Boo? Come here. Come here, Boo. Let me pat you. I got a few minutes. I got to go in and finish. Good boy, you gonna see Stella? Oh, oh, he tore the tower down. There's Stella in the window. Hey, Stella. Run up. And he loves that toy. So far, Stella's just watching. It smells like roses. This rose is in bloom right now. It really smells like roses. He doesn't like playing near Stella. I gotta go put new batteries in that whirly toy for him. I just put his towel back. And Stella wants to know what I'm doing. What are you doing, Stella? Let me show you why this whirly toy is a pain in the butt to put new batteries in. That screw. I always have to look for a little screwdriver for it. So I found this little tool kit that I have and this has a screwdriver in it and then it has a flathead screwdriver on the other side and each end of the screwdriver comes out so there's like a, a little Phillips head and a larger Phillips head and then the other side is the same with a small flathead and a larger flathead. I got this free at some party that I went to. Uh, a couple of years ago. So um, for something like this toy, uh, this is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave this near my batteries. I have a draw of batteries down here. Um, I just get them in Costco in bulk. So I'm just going to leave the screwdriver in the draw with the batteries so it's always there when I need it. I just walked outside and Boo came running from the driveway because he knows he's not supposed to be there when Hydrox is eating. I hope you didn't chase Hydrox away. I hope you didn't chase him away from eating his food, Boo. I'm happy to report that the toy is working because I was afraid it might not be working anymore because it was out in the rain that day, but it didn't rain that hard, so I'm going to put this inside the tent for him, but I have to lift the tent off the ground, uh, otherwise he might slash my hand. There you go, boo. Now he'll be amused for quite a while with this toy.
So it ends up he would rather be petted than play with the toy right now. So I've just been petting him for like five minutes. I forgot I didn't have the camera on, but that's okay. Okay, boo, I gotta go inside and finish. I just came inside and I'm letting Stella smell my hand. The one that I just pet boo with. Oh, did you see that? She hissed and slashed. What's the matter, Stella? Nope, she's not happy. Okay, so right now it's about 1.30 p.m. I'm just about to leave. Here's Boo. He came running from the side of the house somewhere. I don't know where he is. But look, this toy is still on. I mean, he's not playing with it. So I'm going to take this toy. I'm actually going to take this toy inside. I'm going to give it to Stella and see if she wants to play with it. I'll see you later, Boo. You'll be a good boy. They're both smelling it. Let me put it on. You want to play with it? Come here. Here. Okay, I turned it off, but I'm going to leave it here anyway. Stella is smelling it. I'm going to give Boo the rose. This was inside with the cats. So he can sniff this. And he can play with it if he wants to. Okay, now he wants to chew it. Oh no, he wants to lay by it. You lay down with the rose? Yeah. Yeah, he wants his rose. Pretty rose, boo. Pretty rose, pretty. Yeah. Hydrox was just laying on the driveway. Looks like he ate all of his food. And now he's hanging out here. He's been meowing a few times. It's because I think he doesn't like boo. What's the matter, Hydrox? What's wrong? He's actually letting me fairly close to him right now. I'm probably like, I don't know, like seven feet away from him. It is 6.35 p.m. right now. Hello, boo. Did you have a nice day? I'm just getting home. So we're supposed to get rain tomorrow. So that means tonight before it gets dark, I'm gonna put a bunch of this stuff away so it doesn't get wet. How you doing, boo? Hello, Boo! It is 6.37 p.m. and they're getting turkey pate. This is Sheba turkey pate um, with some IAMS grain-free dry food and they're getting their flea away. And I found these stainless steel bowls um, downstairs. I bought these at, I don't know, one of the, it wasn't a Dollar Tree, it was another dollar store. And uh, these are just really plain basic stainless steel bowls they have no rubber bottoms and they're really lightweight so I I'm curious as to whether uh, they're gonna slide around in the patio or or what but I'm gonna feed them eat your food boo they're basically getting the same thing for dinner that they got for breakfast today and there's Hydrox he's hanging out on the driveway hey doing Hydrox you want some food come on Come here. Over here. There you go, Hydrox. Come here. There was quite a bit of liquid in this bowl when I gave it to Boo. 
And in the time it took me to give Hydrox his food and walk back over here, he's definitely consumed most of the liquid. Hydrox is eating his food. I just brought his toy bag outside and I put it on. But he just ate, so he's probably gonna wanna groom himself a little while. He ate most of his food. It looks like he left the pieces of the flea away capsule in there. And he drank all of the liquid. And this is Hydrox's food, so Hydrox drank all of his liquid and he ate some of the wet food. And Boo's being nosy. And now he's coming over here to look. Come on, let's go back. Okay Boo, so we're gonna get more rain. So you gotta be a good boy, and you have houses to go into, okay? You got the house under the house, and you have the plastic tub under the house, and you have the dog house house. So you got a lot of places to keep dry, okay? You don't have to sit outside in the wet weather. There's a mosquito flying around here. I'm trying to shoo it away, but I'm trying to brush him, brush him at the same time. Hello. Oh, he's purring. Do you hear him purring? Something stinks. Something smells, boo. I just got a whiff of dog poop. Did you fart? Boo, did you fart? Hello, Boozy. Hello, Boozy. Relax, Boo. Be nice, Boo. Relax, Boo. Be nice. He looks like he's looking for something on the driveway. I hope he's not looking for Hydrox. Now Hydrox has been on the patio area. It just hasn't usually been like while well, I've been out here with Boo. Like when I was leaving before, I saw Hydrox like walking um, into the bushes near the patio. No scratch. Be nice. Gentle. Gentle. He's laying down with his brush and he was staring at the camera. The camera wasn't on, but he was looking at the camera like, put the camera on because I look so nice because I just got brushed. Boo, you wanna pose? Wanna pose? 
I think Stella guards the food because she usually hangs out here while I'm outside with Boo. I mean, unless she's sitting in the door. But the majority of the time, she'll be like sitting here guarding the food. Maybe she's afraid Boo's gonna come inside and eat it. The automatic feeder is back to only dispensing some food in the morning, and there's still some food in here. So I'm gonna watch this, and uh, if there continues to be food in here, I will make the morning portion smaller. Right now I believe it is five-eighths of a cup, so it's a little bit more than half a cup. He gets very serious with this toy. It's like serious playtime. I don't think Boo likes to play in the grass because he just walked right back to the rug. I think they like playing on the rug better than playing on the grass. I think grass is like their hunting ground, but the rug is like their play area. Okay guys, look, Stella is upstairs. The question is, where are Simba and Splash? Come on. Let's see what happens. Is he gonna come in? Is he gonna come near the door? His eyes are all big like he's scared. Okay. Actually guys, look, there's Splash. So now, I wasn't 100% sure that Splash was upstairs, so now I know all three cats are upstairs. Come on, Boo. Come on. So right now the door's propped open and I'm just using a toy here. There you go, Boo. Usually what they'll do is they'll come in and then they'll go back out. They're like, they're like, explore new territory and then they run back out. So what I'll do is I'll just move like a little bit farther. So like with the kittens, this like landing area here, this little foyer, this was like their safe space for a while before they ventured down the stairs. Boo, come on! Boo! Mm. He got scared of the rug.
He's definitely on the lookout for the other cats. He's afraid of them right now. There he goes, okay. See any noise, is, it's gonna bring him right back outside. That's what Splash did all the time. Splash would come all the way down the stairs, then if he heard a noise outside, he'd go running back outside. So sometimes I would have to keep this door open like this for like an hour or two if I was trying to work it on getting Splash inside. And then the minute I shut the door, he'd like freak out and, uh, you know, try to get out. So I would open the door again. Hey, boo. I don't know if there's a cat on the other side of that door or not. I don't know if he's just smelling it. I mean, I'll know if I see a paw come through because there is enough space for them to get their paw through. What I could do is go grab a brush. Want a brush? Want a brush? All right, I'm back on the stairs and I'm back inside and I have his brush. So let's see what happens if I tap the brush, if he'll come running. Boo! Boo! You want a brush? Boo! Come on, you see the brush? Come on. Come here. Pooh, come here. Come on. Come on, I'll brush you. Come on. All right, what do you want, the toy? Mom, stop being afraid. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Over here. Over here. Okay, so now that he's here with the toy, I can potentially brush him. Okay, nice boy. Nice boy, boo. I just brought the plate of food up. This is Stella, Splash, and Simba's dinner. This is what's left over from it. Sometimes they eat it all, sometimes they leave some and then they come back to it later. This is raw food, it's different from what Boo ate. And he probably smells the other cats on it. Right now he's looking under the door. He probably sees Stella or smells Stella. You see Stella? He looks like Simba. Simba! Hello Simba! Hey Simba! That's Simba! Oh, you know Simba. Okay, his ears are forward. His tail is not big. So maybe he just wants to play. Okay, see if I move, he, he runs, but here's what, like if I come down here, he's probably gonna come down. Because he's curious.
Hey, boo. He's going to... See, the thing is, he would come down, and he would move very slowly, and he would basically tour everything. Like, he would smell every inch of this downstairs area. And the only thing I would need to worry about would be him just kind of, like, curling up somewhere and going to sleep and not wanting to move because I still... I've never picked him up. I don't even know if I can pick him up without being, like, scratched. Um or even potentially bitten. I don't know if he would, but these are all considerations because he has not come that far yet. If something like that was to happen, like if he did come inside and have a look around and just kind of curled up in a corner somewhere and slept like 20 hours like Stella did, um, then all the other cats would obviously have to be kept upstairs for a while. Which means like all of their food and dishes and everything would have to be moved upstairs. They do have a litter box upstairs, but it's just the one. There's two downstairs. Um, there would be a lot of adjustments for a while. So right now it is 7.25 p.m. And I think this was some good progress for today because Boo came inside the door. He played on this little landing. He let me brush him a little bit. He smelled the food. He ventured down like two steps. So, you know, that's a lot of progress. So I think I'm just gonna call it a day. Also, I don't wanna keep this door open a whole lot longer because right now it's still very humid out and there's still a lot of mosquitoes and stuff. Like with the cats, it was much colder. It was uh, like October, November um, and there weren't all these bugs out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so here's what I just did for the cardboard cat scratcher, which goes under the house where Boo hangs out. Uh, see this white material underneath the cardboard? That is some leftover insulation. Uh, those are like insulation sheets that we use to insulate the wood house under the house, like the wooden cat house under the house. I also insulated the uh, plastic tub uh, the one near where Hydrox is on the side of the driveway. So that's also insulated with this material. So this material is foam. It should be water resistant. So I cut a piece um, that fits pretty much the same size as this cat scratcher. It's a little bit bigger. And I am going to put this under the house instead of that sheet of plastic uh, that was under there. So this is like that plastic lid. Um, that was quite a bit wider than the cat scratcher. And then right now there's the cat scratcher with the uh, piece of insulation under it that really shouldn't move or anything. I'm still gonna put the towel on top of it. Now if I wanted to, I could probably lean this plastic up here and duct tape it to the side of the house and that would protect um, against rain. I just don't know if Boo would use it if I did that. Sometimes they don't like to uh, go behind stuff like that. Okay, so I just put his towel back on the scratcher. I'm gonna throw this toy in there also. He has two toys in there. Okay, Boo, I'm going inside. You be a good boy. He's hanging out under the table. There's some bugs under there that he's been hunting. So, he's had some play time. He's had some brush time. He's had good food. And he even stepped inside the house today. So, good boy, Boo. It's always small steps, and it's at the pace of the cat, not the pace of the humans. I took the blue towel off of the patio chair just because he hasn't been laying there much. I am leaving the blue towel on this aqua chair uh, because this is where he has been laying. That way there's a dry towel in the garage, and if this towel gets wet, it gets wet. Simba doesn't know what's going on because the door to the downstairs is shut, so he's a little concerned. It's 11.15 p.m. I don't know if you could see it, but Boo is sleeping on the towel on the aqua chair right outside the door. Good morning, Boo. Did you sleep okay? 
He's been on that chair since like 11 o'clock last night. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Hello, Boo. Okay, so all the cats are upstairs, and um, I think I'm gonna see if I could feed Boo inside the door and what happens. Okay, so here's his food. I'm gonna open the door, see if he'll come in and eat it. I could hear cats on the other side of this door. They might spook Boo. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop that. Come on, Boo, eat your food. Come on, eat your food. You're fine. You're okay. Eat your food. Go ahead, Boo. Eat your food. Come on. Eat your food. Go ahead. You're okay. Come on, Boo. He's drinking up all the liquid. So Boo just ate his breakfast, and that's what these cats will usually do. They'll come in, they'll eat, they'll go back out. And that was what Splash and Simba did most of the time. Well, Splash especially. I mean, Stella just kind of walked in and made herself at home. And Simba was pretty much the same way. I could get him all the way down the stairs but Splash was following the same progression as Boo. Splash would come in and then he would go out. 
come in and neat and then run back out because outside is what they're familiar with I'm putting it outside where he can finish it and then I'm gonna feed the other cats this is kind of weird that there's no cats here but I just realized they were all looking out the window come on guys we're gonna eat breakfast Simba and Splash are checking out the landing where Pooh is eating. They must smell him. I know Simba's smelling him right now. Stella is down here waiting to eat. And it looks like the boys want to play with Boo. I mean, this is very unlike them. They usually just go straight for the food. Simba looks like he's in love with Boo. Simba, do you like Boo? Simba, you like Boo? Simba, you don't want to eat? You want to play with Boo instead? Want to play with Boo? You don't want to eat? You're not going out. Come on, Simba, we're gonna eat breakfast. Come on. Come on. We're gonna eat breakfast. Come on. I'll be back, Boo. I'll be back. Come on, Simba, we gotta eat. I'm putting their breakfast together and he just ran back upstairs. This is totally unlike Simba. Simba, you're not eating breakfast? You're not eating breakfast? He wants to play with Boo. I don't have a screen for that back door. I wish it came with the screen. I give them food, I give them new water, and Stella is the only one eating. 9.30 a.m. Splash is hanging out on the cat tower. Simba's looking out the window. Hey Simba. Where's Boo? Where'd Boo go? Boo's not on his chair. It's about 11 o'clock right now. I just came outside. I got so much done in my house today. It's really good. Um, this is Boo's bowl. It's pretty much empty. Hello, Boo. This is Hydrox's bowl. I'm going to go give Hydrox some food. the empty bowl. These are the two empty bowls. There's still a whole bunch of dry food in the feeder. And right now I have to tell you that it appears that the weather forecast was like completely wrong. It is like beautiful out. It's sunny and warm and nice and there's no wind or anything. So uh, yeah, hopefully this bad weather will pass us or not even hit us over here. Who wants me to pet him? What you doing, Boo? 
Good boy, Boo. You're a good boy. The weather forecast has completely changed. Uh, it was supposed to be pretty much like raining all day and now right now there's like a 60% chance of precipitation this hour and then the rest of the day it's like all zero, 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 zero. Pooh wanted to be brushed so I took his brush out. He's been purring. He still likes my phone. Good boy, Boo. Good boy, Boo. Gentle. Okay. All right, Boo. I gotta get going. Okay? Be a good boy? I know. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. Pretty boy, Boo. It is 6.45 and it rained today, so the weather was wrong. I mean, first the weather was right and then the weather changed and it was wrong and then the original weather was right because originally they said it was going to rain today, then they changed the forecast and it said that no, it wasn't going to rain today, but then it ended up raining today. So. I'm glad I didn't take everything back out. There's one blue towel that's a little bit wet right now. Okay, Boo, I'm gonna go inside. I'll get you some food, okay? Here's Boo, he's hanging out by the door. Oh, there goes Stella. Hey, Stella, you looking at Boo? So this is my first waitressing job. I'm getting really good at balancing these plates on my arm. Okay, I just put Boo's food under the table, and I'm petting Boo, and for the most part he's dry, so he was obviously hanging out somewhere dry. He's a little bit wet now because it's raining, and he's outside in the rain now. Eat your food, Boo. Eat your food. Eat your food. Pretty much all of the dry food is still in the feeder, which is weird. Like, I don't know why nobody ate that. That only goes off in the morning now. Okay, Boo's eating his food, so I'm gonna take this food to Hydrox. Come on, Hydrox. Hydrox has been meowing. I don't know if you guys heard him before, but uh, he must be hungry. Get your food, Hydrox. Yeah, he went straight to it. He's eating it. They're getting the I Am's Perfect turkey right now. 
I know you want me to pet you, but you're getting wet. So go lay down, come on. So everything under the house is still dry. And then everything under the table is dry. I don't know why this is pushed. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? He didn't have his claws out, so that's a good thing. But I want, what are you doing? <laughs> why are you hitting me? Boo, I'm trying to move it so it doesn't get wet. Do you want to play? Okay, I'm trying to move this mat. There, I just moved it. That's why I took the toy out, so I could just distract Boo for a minute and move the rug. It'll stay more dry right here. Also, this camera got moved. I want that camera to be more centered. So the area under this aqua chair is also dry. I'm just going to leave the towel out here right now, even though the towel is like wet. But it is what it is. He has plenty of dry places to go if he wants to. Come here, boo. Come here. Come here. What are you looking at? Hydrox is trying to eat. Come on, boo. Come on. I don't know where he went. I went to get the brush. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's like no dry area around here. So this is like wet, and for some reason this looks more dry to me. Okay, Bo. I'll brush you for a few minutes, but then I gotta go in because it's raining right now. <laughs> I'm getting wet. Ooh, a bug just like flew up my nose. Come on. Come on. Good boy, Boo. So it has not been a windy day. It's just been kind of this light rain, which, you know, isn't too bad. I'm sick of the rain, but it could be worse. We going, Mr. Mr. Boo. Mr. Boo. How you doing, Mr. Boo? Okay. All right. You be a good boy. Be a good boy? Okay. Be good boy. I'm going to go inside, okay? You be good. I'm going inside. Feels like it's starting to rain harder. Okay. You hang he's purring. Hang out. Hang out in your apartment. Hang out in your apartment, boo. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but the rain is picking up. Okay, that's it. It's about 8.20 p.m. right now. Splash is hanging out on the ottoman. It's slowly being moved over from where I put it to where they want it. And here's Simba, he's hanging out on top of the cat tree. It's one of his favorite spots. And here's Stella, she's waiting for some crunchies. I told her I'd give her some crunchies. So Stella just had a weigh-in today, and she's exactly 15 pounds. So maybe she's lost a few ounces. Simba got weighed also, and he weighs 12 and a half pounds. So he's two and a half pounds lighter than Stella. It is 8.28 a.m. Someone knocked over the small cat tower. The question is, was it picked up on any of the video cameras? I just looked through all of the pet cube footage and I only have the free version, which keeps four hours of footage, so the last four hours. And in the last four hours, it was knocked over the entire time. So that means it happened sometime between midnight when I went to bed and 4 a.m. I'm downstairs here with Splash, and I'm being super quiet. And I whispered to him, and I said, Splashy, do you want some treats? And look who came running from the other end of the house. It's like he psychically knew what I was doing. 
It is 9.45. I just opened the door and it looks like Boo is hanging out on the Boo rug. Hey, Boo. Hello, Boo. Move over. Well, at least it's warm out today. It is humid. I don't think we're supposed to be getting more rain. Here you go, Boo. I'm pat you first. Did you have a good night, Boo? Where did you sleep? I didn't see you on the camera. It's 12 p.m. right now, and I have to stay on a schedule today, so um, I have to get going right now. But here's Boo. It looked like he was laying in the bushes. It looked like he was laying over here in the bushes because that's where he kind of came out from. He uh, greeted me with a few meows. And um, I'll put my bag down and pet him. He ate all of his food. There's still dry food in the feeder. It doesn't even look like the dry food has been touched. Hello, Boo. I have like literally one minute to pet you. How are you? Good boy. Yeah, you be a good boy today, Boo, okay? It shouldn't rain. I don't think it's gonna rain today. I don't think it's gonna rain. I'll fix your towel so you could lay on your chair, okay? You have food, you have water, I give you new water. You have plenty of dry food in the feeder. Okay? Be a good boy, boo. Be a good boy. Good boy, boo. Good boy, boo. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Be a good boy. He's really been on really good behavior lately. Right, Boo? He's learning to be gentle. He's learning not to uh, cause fights. Okay, Boo, I gotta go. I know you want me to pat you, but I gotta go. I got a busy day today, Boo. Very busy day. I've just fixed up his towel. Leaves are starting to fall. It's starting to feel like autumn. But I like that the weather's staying warm. Okay, boo. I'll see you later, boo. See you later, boo bear. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. He's rubbing against my feet. Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, you're a good boy, boo. Okay, yeah. I was going to give him the electronic whirly toy, but I'm not 100% sure that it's not going to rain all day and I don't need that getting wet and potentially like ruining it. So um, I'm putting out his carrier. It's something else for him to, you know, uh, interact with, play with. I could throw a toy in there for him, and, um, yeah. Okay, boo, I'll see you later. It is 5 o'clock. I just got home. Hello, boo, how are you? I have exactly a half hour, maybe less, until I have to get out of here again. I have to go to an event tonight. Okay, so I just scooped out um, some of the dry food that's in the automated feeder. I'm giving... Boo his dinner. This is Sheba Turkey. And uh, Boo's been saying hello to me. He's been meowing at me. I'm going to give this to Hydrox. And here's Hydrox. Hydrox has been talking to me also. Do you guys hear him meowing? Right? So I give Hydrox his food. I'm going to empty this. This is like gross. And I'll just leave that. I'm going to turn this over. I'll leave that here for now. Hydrox had his tail in the air. Like, his tail was, like, straight up. I don't know if I've ever seen Hydrox walking around with his tail straight up. Usually, it's just, like, out in the back. You know, like, tail up is happy cat. Like, Boo walks around like that all the time. I don't think I've ever seen Hydrox do that. It is 5.29 p.m., and I have to leave here in, like, one minute. Okay, Boo? Gonna be a good boy? Be a good boy tonight, Boo. 
Be a good boy tonight. Okay, yeah, you just hang out. Don't get in trouble. Just hang out in your chair. It should be dry. So you could hang out on the blue towel, okay? Oh my god. I just totally realized something as I'm talking to Boo right now that when Sonia was talking to the cats, they mentioned, what are you doing? See, he just did that to me, but he didn't have his claws out. So, um, when Sonia was talking to the cats, they mentioned a red blanket and a blue blanket, and I couldn't figure it out. I was like, okay, there's one red blanket that I know of, but Boo is the one with the red blanket and the blue blanket. There's the blue blanket, and there's the red blanket. She specifically mentioned a blue blanket and a red blanket, and I blanked on them, but they're right here. So he did get my arm a little bit. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I had to go wipe some blood off. It's a very faint scratch. Like it, I didn't even feel it. Like it didn't even hurt. It did not even feel like he had his claws out, but boo. You know people don't like to be scratched, right, boo? You know that, right? People don't like to be scratched. I know you're upset that I can't spend more time with you right now, but you don't scratch me, okay? You got it? So I'm sitting here on the steps for a minute. Boo, are you a good boy or are you a bad boy? You're a bad boy? Or are you a good boy? Oh, he's rubbing up on my feet. He's saying, I'm a good boy. Don't scratch people, boo. You don't scratch. You be nice to people, right? You be nice to people. Be nice to people. There's Stella looking out the window. It is 11.40 p.m. I just got home and here's Boo. I don't know where he was hanging out. I don't know if he was in the blue tub under the house. He was not on the chair. He was not on the uh, red towel in his apartment. He was either somewhere on the side of the house or maybe in the blue tub, but I didn't see him. But here he is. How you doing, Boo? I just petted him a little bit, and I'm gonna go inside because it's late. And I'm tired. Okay, Boo. Have a good night. Have a good night, Boo. Look, it's Splash. Hey, Splash. All three feeders went off. I had one, two, three. They were all filled with two of those Primal Raw Nuggets each and um, I smashed all the nuggets down so they were like a pate. They all dispense food in this feeder, they ate all the food, and then this feeder, not so much, and this feeder, not so much. So now what I have to do is like mush this out so maybe they'll eat it. Then this one was eaten, and then this one I have to like mush out also. How you doing, Stella? So when I came in before, I kind of tracked some leaves in, but the cats were really enjoying the leaves. They were like rolling around on them. It is 8.57 a.m. I slept in a little bit today, and Hydrox is eating dry food out of the feeder.
It is 10.45 a.m. I just opened the back door and here's Boo. He's hanging out. He's got a fool. But he caught himself. <laughs> How you doing, Boo? I'm going to get him some wet food. Okay, so while I'm down here, I keep hearing this chirping noise and I've timed it out and it chirps every 33 seconds. At first, I thought it was the smoke alarm here, but I took the smoke alarm off the wall and as I was, as I was walking away with it, I still heard the chirping coming from a different area. Right now, I'm pointing the camera at the smoke alarm, but I'm hearing the chirp coming from like the left of me. So right now, I'm standing where I'm hearing the chirping coming from. And it literally sounds like it would be coming from like here, like above me, but there's nothing here. Like there are no smoke alarms here. Did you guys hear that chirp? Do you recognize it as anything? Okay, I just walked up the steps and Simba's laying inside, Boo was laying outside. They're crazy. You two are crazy. You two are crazy, are you friends? Are you guys buddies? Okay. I'm gonna feed them. Come on, let's eat. Hello. Okay, Simba. Okay, Simba. I gotta go out. Move. Hello, boo. It's a really nice day out. It is like beautiful weather. It's a little too humid, but I love this warm weather. Hey, boo. Hello, boo. Boo likes to be petted before he eats. Where are you, Boo? Boo's upset because I didn't get to spend much time with him yesterday. Okay, Boo, you're a good boy. Boo's fur is feeling furrier. Like it feels like it's getting thicker. Oh, sorry, sorry. Here, here's your food in your shiny bowl. Eat your shiny dish. And then this is going to Hydrox. So I just found that little gray rock on the back steps and I went to throw it away and then Boo like hit my hand. He didn't have his claws out, but he was hitting my hand like, don't throw it away, it's my toy. So I just gave him the rock to play with. You see it? He's like laying on it. He was just playing with that little rock. So that's what feral cats play with. They play with rocks. Those are like natural cat toys. That's Boo's rock. Watch, watch, watch. It's his little toy. What's your toy, Boo? What's your rock toy? See, he wants to play with the rock. If I go to move that rock, he's gonna scratch me. That's your rock. See, you got the rock, here. Who's rock? Want the rock? Want the rock? The rock's over there. See the rock over there? No, you don't scratch. Don't scratch the rock. I mean, don't scratch me. 
playing with the rock. You playing with the rock. It's kind of sad when you think about that. The feral cats, I mean, they get to hunt, but their only toys are like sticks and rocks. It was very soft. His fur is so soft. He's sitting on my foot. There are lymphatic massage points on both sides of the spine. So if you um, run your fingers along both sides of a cat's spine with like gentle pressure, it helps their lymphatic system. Every time I get to a certain point in his back, he turns. <clears throat> what you doing, boo? I think he got him overexcited. You hanging out? You watch, watch, watch. Right about here. Okay, I just put his whirly toy on for him. You could play with it here, or I could put it in the tent. I think he likes it better in the tent. Because right now he's going to the tent. You don't want to play? You don't want to play, boo? You don't want to play? You want me to brush you? Gentle, nice, you be nice, nice boy. Nice boy. Be nice. Be nice to the brush. He's trying to brush himself, look, he's brushing himself. Look, he's brushing his own chin. Boo is in like cat heaven right now. He has a toy to play with. He's being brushed. He has a rug to lay on. Okay, Boo. I'm gonna go in. playing with your toy he's uh, holding the toy down under the tent it is now 11 30 and I have to leave I have to get to my office I hate having to be on like a set schedule um, with like times where I have to be places I don't know how like people do it that have to you know be at jobs by certain hours uh, every day because man it wears me out but um, I'll see you later boo okay you have a good uh, have a good afternoon okay it is 6.25 p.m. I'm going to feed the outside cats today. They're getting Nature's Variety lamb. And there's Boo. He's hanging out on the steps. It's been waiting a while. I've been downstairs trying to figure out where a mystery chirping noise is coming from and still haven't figured that out. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Boo. your food. What's the matter? Come on. So I just looked at the driveway and Hydrox is sitting on the driveway waiting for his food. But first I have to pet Boo 
or else he doesn't eat. Once I pet him, then he eats. Right now, there's no dry food left in the feeder, so it looks like both he and Hydrox ate it. So I took some dry food out of the garage and I'm giving this to Hydrox. There's Hydrox, see? All I need to do is walk on the driveway and he kind of just walks away. I'm gonna give him his food. Oh, there's ants, I'm gonna step on the ants. Looks like there was some food knocked over. I think the, I think the landscapers were here today and the ants are on that food. So I'll, I'll put his food right here so he can eat it. Who's enjoying his food? It's 6.45. I just came back outside. I let Boo eat his food and then groom himself. I don't want to play with him like right after he eats. He might get an upset stomach. Hello, Boo. How are you? How are you doing? Nice boy, you're a nice boy today, boo. Hello, boo. Nice boy, nice boy. Good boo. Gentle boo. Good boy. Good boy, boo. You're so nice. Hi. Why are you trying to hit me? Are you trying to hit me? Why? Why are you trying to hit me? Hmm? I just took this toy out of the tent and the toy is still on. Oh, look. Boo's trying to go in the tent. Maybe there's a bug in there. So I'm playing with Boo for a little bit with this toy just so he could get some energy out and um, like everything is blown all over the place which makes me think the landscapers were here and I don't know where Boo's Kong toy is like that Kong feather toy it was on the red towel under the house now I don't see it so I don't know where they blew it to
He's hiding behind the tent right now. So the toy can't see him. See him? hiding again. Boo loves to play. Like, he loves playing. He's hiding again. He's hiding behind the tent. Hydrox just ate exactly one half of his food. This is Boo's favorite toy in the whole world. He was just in the driveway eating Hydrox's food and I took the toy out and uh, I went over to the driveway with it I just started waving it around and I was able to totally bring him right back here to the patio. And he loves holding on to it right now. He's just holding on to it. Okay, boo, I'm gonna go inside. It's getting late. It's getting dark. I'm getting bit up by bugs. Okay, so you have a good night, boo, okay? Don't get in any trouble. Be a good boy all night. Just relax and get some good rest and we'll play again tomorrow, okay boo? Got it? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I know he's upset that I'm going inside but I can't be out here with him all night. Hey Simba. And there's Stella hanging out by the back door. I just let Stella smell boo on my hands and she seemed okay with it. She wasn't hissing or anything. 9.26 a.m. Stella is watching the show outside of the windows. She likes to watch people walk by, people exercising in the morning. And of course, the squirrels, the birds, and whatever other animals roaming around. Good morning, Boo. It's about 10.30 a.m. I'm just coming out. Hello. What are you crying? What are you crying for? All the cats are upstairs, so right now I have the door open, but the battery on this camera is going to die like any second. So now I'm just going to shut the door for a minute and see if I can change the battery without the cats coming downstairs. Here's Boo. Come on, Boo! Come on! I'm just going to go downstairs and start preparing his food. And the question is, is he going to follow me? Chances are very good he will follow me. Come on, Boo! Going to calm down? Hungry cats do a lot of things that cats with a full belly don't do. I just put on all the lights down here. Okay, Boo, you want some food? Okay, I'm downstairs putting Boo's food together, and I just heard a hiss. I don't know if Boo hissed, I don't know if Stella hissed, but I just heard an unhappy cat sound. Okay, so here's his food. I'm giving him food on the plate that the cats just finished their breakfast on because I figure it has their smell in it. And here's Boo. He's just hanging out. Yeah, good boy. I'm going to feed him up here on the landing just because he's used to this area up here and also because it is near the door. Like right here, 
is probably Stella or whoever's on the other side of the door. So I think it's good if he's able to eat here. Come on, Boo, eat your food. Eat your food, Boo. You could eat it. You don't want to eat it? What's the matter? Come on. Here, eat your food. Come here. That's your food. Eat it. No one's going to bother you. It looks like Simba is on the other side. Yeah, I see Simba's little nose. Okay, eat your food, Boo. Eat your food. You know what? Here, I'll pet you. I'll pet you. This is very stressful for Boo right now. Come here. Okay, I do have another brush inside. Okay, so this is the brush that I bought for Splash. The Splash doesn't like it. Come on. Move the food over. If you're not going to eat it, I'm moving it over right there. It's windy today. Okay, Boo. Boo's curious. Usually he'll eat after I pet him or brush him, so. Not that he necessarily needs to eat because there is food in the feeder. And this brush now has a tag on it. But yeah, any slight little thing will freak him out and he will go running back outside. You're a nice boy, boo. See? Any noise? Now he might eat his food. It looks like that's Simba. Simba, what are you doing? So it's a good thing if Boo can eat while there's like another cat close by making noise like that. I mean, the three cats that live inside, they have to eat while the other cats are making all kinds of noise and are near them. Of course, you know, they're a family, so they're used to it. But Boo used to eat with them, so it's just kind of reintegrating him back into his own family.
So I'm sitting here very close to Boo, just so he feels comfortable. It's okay, Boo. You could eat. It's okay. Eat your food. Come here, eat. I was downstairs scooping out some of the litter. Looks like Boo's finished with his food. Come here! Let me brush you. Come here. Want me to brush you? Boo. What are you looking at? I'm gonna brush you. Come on. Okay. Okay, I just brought the food outside. Boo is obviously more comfortable outside right now than inside, just because inside is something like really, really new for him. He's never, ever, ever been inside someone's house before. So, small baby steps. Now the difference with Boo is is that like when the other cats came inside there were no other cats already living inside so like when boo goes in there's like all that additional added stress for him because not only is being inside something new for him but the fact that there are other cats living there is additional stress even if those cats are you know part of his family it's still you know a stressful transition so he um you know, there's, there's a lot of other factors at play here than when the other cats just, you know, came inside. Right, Boo? Good boy, Boo. Good boy, Boo. Okay, eat the rest of your food, okay? Eat the rest of your food. Go eat your food. Okay, boo. I gotta go finish scooping. I gotta go finish scooping the poop. Okay, so I just fed Hydrox, and I just put the bag of poop in the garbage can. And when I came back outside, I saw something very disturbing that I did not see before. And, yeah, now I have to deal with it. I'm so not happy right now. There's a splash in the window. And there's Boo. And there's a dead bird. Now, as I'm filming this bird, Boo is rubbing all up and down my legs. What I don't understand is why he's not, like, eating his prey. If any of the other cats had a bird, the three of them would devour it. Like, it was the most amazing thing they've ever eaten in their entire life. One of the reasons why I put them on raw food was because... I saw how they acted after they ate their kill. I mean, it was just incredible amounts of energy and um, a lot of playing and stuff like that. So, Boo, I don't like those kind of presents. Just so you know, I, I don't appreciate those kind of presents at all. I don't like them. I don't like those presents. I'm not happy with them. Sorry, Boo, I'm not a fan of dead birds. Okay, so I just disposed of the bird. I got my gloves out, and I got the little garden shovel out. Come here, Boo. So Hydrox is eating his food right now, so Boo's being annoying. 
The other thing is I am not going to praise Boo for bringing me a gift because I don't want those gifts. So if I praise him, it could potentially encourage him to bring me more of those gifts because Boo's a very smart cat and uh, I'm not doing that. I just harvested a big bowl of tomatoes. These plants really did well this year. I mean, considering it was only like four or five plants, they had so many tomatoes. I'm going to go put these inside and then I'm going to probably fill maybe another half of a bowl and I'm gonna leave the rest on the plants. The plants are definitely starting uh, to die. They're like on their way out. There's some shriveled leaves and stuff, but I'm gonna leave the rest of the green tomatoes um, on the plant right now. The next few days are supposed to be warm, sunny, and beautiful. And then maybe in like four or five days, I'll do another harvest and maybe that would be the final harvest of all the green tomatoes or everything that's left. It is just about 1 p.m. and I have to head over to my office and boo just came out from wherever he was laying. I think he was laying in the bushes. And he's been saying hello to me. He's been meowing. He wants me to hang out with him, but I have to get going, Boo. I know. I'll try to pet him, but I'm holding like a whole bunch of bags. These are my bags. This is my computer bag, purse, and then my little cooler with my food in it. Good boy, boo. Good boy, boo. You hang out today, okay? You be a good boy. And just chill out. I pet him, then he rubs up against me, then he's gonna come back around again. Always the same side. Good boy, boo. His fur gets really hot. Right now he's rubbing up against my back, and he's coming back around. He has like his little routine. Hello, boo. Who's a nice boy? He's been a good boy. Except for when he kills the mice and the birds, but that's what cats do. Okay, boo. See, that's one of the nice things about cats that live inside. They only kill bugs. I don't mind when they kill bugs. Okay, boo, I gotta go. I gotta go. Go hang out. Go take a nap. Go take a cat nap, okay? I've never met a cat that enjoyed being like brushed and petted so much ever. Okay, boo. Okay, you be a good boy. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Put his towel back here on the uh, the chair. He could lay underneath it and get shade. I put another towel here on the chair, and he still has the red towel under the house. It is 6:45 p.m. I just got home, and look who's greeting me by the driveway. Hello, Boo. Hello, Mr. Boo. What you doing? We gonna eat? We gonna eat, guys? Who's ready for dinner? Who wants to eat? Who wants dinner? Who wants to eat food? We gonna eat? Come on. Let's eat. Who's eating? Okay, guys, ready to eat? We're gonna eat. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's eat. Here's the food. Come on, guys. I don't want to step on anybody. Splashy likes it when I pat him right here, right behind the neck. See, he sits still for it. Right, Splash? You like that? You like that, Splashy? Okay, eat your food.
your food, Flash. Eat your food. Go ahead. Today they are getting the very last of the bag of the Primal Raw uh, bricks. And then they're getting some of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw bites. The Nature's Variety is the food that I like to put into these automated feeders. It's just easier to use the small bites than the larger uh, bricks or the nuggets. It is 6.48 p.m. Boo is waiting by the back door like a good boy. And here's the food. I'm going to bring it out for him. Okay, Boo. Move over. I'm going to put the food down first. There's still a little bit of dry food in the feeder, but I do have to remember to... Um... Oh, hello, Boo. He nudged my hand. I have to remember to put a second feeding on the feeder. I know I just took the second feeding off, but since I'm going to be away the next two days, I want to make sure that I put it back on. Here. Right here. There's the food, Boo. This is Hydrox food. I don't see Hydrox right now, but I'm going to give him his food anyway. I did put one of those ant bait things here. There are a lot of ants on this plate. It's gross. Okay, so I just put more food into the automatic feeder because it was running low. It was not entirely out. Um, and I just used this entire bag. This is the Nature's Variety Instinct Original grain-free recipe with real duck. 81% real animal ingredients and nutritious oils, 19% vegetables, fruits, and other wholesome ingredients, 0% grain, corn, wheat, soy, or potato. I got this on sale at PetSmart. And here are the ingredients. Let's look at the first five or six ingredients. So it's duck, turkey meal, chicken meal, Manhattan fish meal, chicken fat, preserved with mixed tocopherols and citric acid, peas, duck meal, tapioca, dried tomato pomace, natural flavor, sun-cured alfalfa meal, montmorillonite clay, vitamins, it goes through all the vitamins, carrots, apples, cranberries, then it goes through minerals, freeze-dried duck, pumpkin seeds, dried bacillus coagulus fermentation product and rosemary extract. Okay, so I just reset the feeder, so now it will dispense a half cup of food at 6 a.m. and another half cup food at 5 p.m. And that should be plenty of food while I'm away for the next two days. So as I'm putting this board back on top of the feeder, I noticed like all this grubby, smudgy stuff. That's all like raccoon paws. That's all like dirty raccoon paws trying to get into like the top of the feeder. The board goes on top and then there's a heavy weight. So it's actually like they're going they're going in there and then they're trying to like get through the board from there. It's not gonna work. Boo just ate all of his food, like all of it. I gave him a few of these crunchies to try and he ate all of the wet food that I gave him. It was the Sheba turkey. I've been giving them turkey at night because you know, turkey has like tryptophan in it, which is very relaxing, it makes people sleepy. So I'm hoping that if I give them turkey at night, it actually makes them sleepy and they'll sleep better at night. Hydrox just ate some of his food and then I just saw him walking away. Boo must be really hungry because now he's like eating Hydrox's food. I was just doing a little straightening up in my garage and I found uh, Boo's catnip toy. I forgot about it. So I'm going to give this to him. I just put some new catnip in it. Boo! Come on, play! Come on! I'll give it to him over here on the rug. Sharpening his claws in anticipation. Look at this. He's ignoring a catnip toy? He would rather be petted than play with a catnip toy? Really, Boo? Do you not know there's a catnip toy there? Boo! Boo, there's a catnip toy. Do you smell it, Boo? Boo! Oh, there he goes. Hopefully he'll play with it. I put a bunch in there. I put like a tablespoon almost. Okay, no, maybe a teaspoon. I put a teaspoon in there. Okay, good.
He doesn't even want to play with it. He just goes straight to the catnip. Like, he's too smart for this toy. He's just sticking his tongue in the opening where the catnip is. Yep. All he's doing is just eating the catnip out of this toy. He knew exactly how to open that toy, and he knew exactly how to get the catnip. I, I still have to try giving um, that silver vine to Hydrox. It's just harder as the days get shorter. I really like it when the days are long because then I have more time to spend outside, but as the days get shorter, I feel like it's like time crunch. It would actually be much easier for me if Boo was inside with the other cats because then I'm just dealing with like, you know, one cat schedule. And now I'm dealing with two cat schedules, the outside cat schedule and the inside cat schedule. Okay, it's getting dark out. Boo's had his catnip. Hey, Boo. I'm gonna go inside, okay? Okay, baby. I'm a good boy, Boo. I just need to get some other stuff done. Okay. I'll see you later, Boo. Boo wants me to pet him a little bit. Okay. Yeah, nice boy. Nice boy, Boo. Nice boy, boo. You're a nice boy. Boo wants me to just hang out here with him. Just, just chill out here. Hello, boo. Okay, boo. See, he just wants to hang out. But I want to go in. I have not eaten dinner yet. I just want to relax. I also would like to get to bed early today. And not be up until like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Because I have to get up early. So. Okay, boo. I'm going to call it a night, okay? You're going to hang out out here. You have uh, your towel on... The uh, blue chair, you have your towel on the patio chair, you have your towel under the house, you have all kind of places to hang out. You have your catnip toy, you got food, got everything you need, boo. Okay, boo. I'll see you later. Hey, Stella, move over. It is 10.55 p.m. Look how Simba is sleeping. How can he sleep like that? Hello, Simba. It is 6.45 a.m. How you doing, Simba? It's about 60 degrees out. It's 
is 6.45 a.m. and Boo has not been sleeping in his chairs the past few nights. Ever since that day when it rained, I don't know where he's been. So he's not on the patio chair and he's not on the other chair near the door. They did it. They moved the ottoman over by the cat tree in like just a matter of a few days. Like it was, it was originally here. That's where I put it near the chair. And they have since moved it over all the way to here. I don't know why they do that. It's right near the cat tree. And yeah. It's like 8.30 a.m. I came out here about 10 minutes ago to give them food. And it looked like Boo was just like hanging out in the bushes. I don't know. He's been acting kind of weird today. I don't understand. He has like beautiful towels to lay on on these beautiful chairs. And it looks like he's just laying in the bushes. I don't know why he likes doing that. And then he was like afraid of me for a minute, like he never saw me before. Um, and then he turned like normal again. I don't know, maybe because um, I'm usually not out at this hour because I am trying to get moving very early today. So now it's like he recognized me and he knows who I am. Okay, boo. Eat your food. Eat your food. So this is Hydrox's food, and ideally I would like to be out of here by like 8.30 or 9 o'clock the latest, and right now it's like 8.20, so I really need to kind of get moving. I'm going to give this to Hydrox. And then I'm going to give them both new water. Come on, boo. I just refilled both of the water bowls outside. There's dry food in the feeder and more will be dispensed um, this evening around 5 p.m. There's Boo's food. He hasn't really touched it. I'm just going to push it under the table. Okay, Boo, you're going to be a good boy for the next few days, right? You're going to hang out here on the patio. And you're in charge of making sure everybody gets along, okay? Make sure everybody has a nice time on the patio. I don't want any fights and I don't want any animals killed, all right? That's right. Boo, what's the matter? Why are you so scary today? I want you to sleep on your chairs, okay, Boo? I want you to sleep on your blankets on the chairs. Got it? I don't want you sleeping in the bushes. You got it? We lucky feral cats, we don't sleep in bushes. We sleep on chairs and beds and towels and blankets. You understand me? We don't act like common cats. We act like lucky ferals. Got it? You could sleep in your apartment. You could sleep on the patio chair. You could sleep on the other chair near the door. You understand me? Boo, you capiche? You got it? And here's Stella waiting right inside the door for me. She's not too happy when I talk to Boo. Are you mad at Boo? Are you and Boo fighting? Stella, are you and Boo fighting? Yeah, okay. Listen, Stella, I'm going to be away for the next few days, so that means you're in charge. You're in charge of the house and making sure everybody gets along. All the cats. You, Simba, and Splash, you all got to get along while I'm away, okay? I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back in a few days. See, all this machinery. I think one of the neighbors has their landscaper out there. I just set up the three automatic feeders. Um, this is their dinner tonight, which is the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw. Breakfast tomorrow, Nature's Variety Instinct Raw and dinner tomorrow, which is the um, freeze-dried raw, along with some just more dry food. These are set to dispense at 7 p.m. and also 7 a.m. Poor Boo, he's hiding under the table because of all the noise. Like, it is seriously loud. I don't know if these are new landscapers that were just hired or what, but I don't know. Okay, Boo? You good boy, Boo? You good boy, Boo? I know it's loud. It's loud. It's horrible. Very horrible. But they'll be gone soon. They'll be done soon. Okay? They'll be done. They'll be done soon.
See, the problem is that if the landscaper is at the house with like the wilderness yard, that could potentially disrupt like this little local ecosystem um, with the local animals. Because when you have a yard that's like all overgrown and just gone wild, the animals kind of make it their home, you know? And then when you have like landscapers coming in and just like clearing everything out, it's really disruptive. And no one ever thinks about the animals that might be like living in the area that's being cleared out. Okay, boo. Okay, boo. Listen, boo. Sleep on your chair. Sleep on your chairs. Hang out at the table. Let me pull the chair out for you. Is it too close? He has been hanging out on that little rug under the table. But I think at night it's better if he sleeps on the chairs than, like, in dirt. Okay, boo. I gotta get going, okay? You have a nice few days, okay? I'll be back tomorrow night. I'll be back tomorrow night. The next morning, the latest, okay? Boo ate all of his food. Okay, I, I just pulled the seat out so he has a little bit more room to like maneuver into it. And that rug is still on the bottom there. Stella loves to be the first cat to use the freshly scooped litter. She watches me while I'm doing the scooping. And then the minute I go upstairs to scoop out the other one, she comes in here and she uses it. And I don't know why, but she does this thing where she just scratches like the sides of the litter box and not the litter. She's the only cat that does that. I don't know if it's a female thing or what. What happened, Stella? You fell? Okay. Does it meet your approval? Stella, did that meet your approval? It's like she always has to inspect them. Right? I don't know if you guys heard that, but I just hit stop record. When Simba and Splash start wrestling, it sounds like thunder is going on upstairs. Like the two of them just tear through the house and Stella just got freaked out by it because sometimes she thinks it might be Boo. It is 9.02 a.m. I'm just about to leave. I wanted to be out of here by 9 a.m. So I'm almost on time. And there's Boo. He's hanging out on that little mat under the patio table. It seems to be his new favorite place. Hey, Boo. Okay, Boo. Enjoy the rest of today and enjoy tomorrow. Be a good boy, okay? You have plenty of food in the feeder. I gave you water. Sleep on your chairs. I know you like the new rug. Sleep on your new rug. You're safe under the table. And I know hopefully all this noise will end soon. Okay, boo? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow night or the next morning, the latest. Okay, boo? You be good. Don't get in any fights. Be peaceful. Be calm and peaceful, okay? All right. I just put his play mat back out because he hasn't had it in a few days. I took it away when it was raining, so hopefully he'll enjoy that.
It is 10.45 p.m. I just got home. I don't see Boo anywhere. Oh, there's Boo. He's been sleeping in the bushes. What are you doing, Boo? How are you? He's stretching. Do you guys see him? How are you, Boo? You okay? You okay, Boo? I hope he's okay. Yes, yeah, Stella. Looks like she was sleeping too. She just came to say hello. Hello, Stella. Hello. I'm gonna go. I have to finish unloading the car, okay? Okay, so I have no idea why, but Boo's new thing is to hang out in the bushes. I don't know why. What are you doing, Boo? How are you? How are you, Boo? Are you a good boy? Yeah? He looks okay. Boo, you have beautiful chairs to lay on. You have beautiful chairs to lay on. Why are you laying in the bushes? Why are you sleeping in the bushes, Boo? Come on. Come up here. Up here, look. Lay here. Sit down here, Boo. Look, I'm going to sit down here. I'm sitting down here. Come sit here. This is yours. He's being, like, super cautious. I hope nothing spooked him. Hey, Boo. Hello, Boo. You okay, Boo? You okay? You feeling okay? Yeah? Does it look like he's limping? There's Simba's hanging up by the door. All right, so I sat on the towel, so maybe he'll go jump on the chair now. Go ahead, Boo, up here. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. You're a nice boy. Want some food? Would you like to eat some food? Want to eat some food? He's been pretty much just eating the dry food. Okay, I'm gonna go give him a little bit of wet food. I'll give him like a perfect portion. So I left some dry food up here along with some fresh water and it looks like uh, they ate maybe like a third of the dry food that was up here. Here's Splash and Stella. Hello. Hello. So um, this was full when I left. So they ate all that dry food. And then here's the automatic feeders. Um, they ate some of the freeze dried raw and then they ate some of this dry food. Let's open these up and see um, how much of the raw they ate. So they left a little bit of raw there, a little bit of raw on each of these and a little bit of raw on each of these. That's surprising. That's like the first time they've ever done that. So I'm giving him a Shiva perfect portion. I believe this is the chicken pate. Will he eat it? He might not be hungry if he ate all that dry food. Okay, boo. I'll let you eat that. I'm gonna go inside and start unpacking. So here are the three inside cats, all hanging out. All hanging out, probably looking for something to eat because they really didn't eat their dinner, which was dry food. Well, they might have eaten their dry food from dinner, but I'll give them some treats. Usually when uh, I go away for more than 24 hours, I come home and I'll give them meaty sticks. So maybe I'll give them each a meaty stick right now. The other thing that I need to do is I need to clean up these feeders because the raw food um, will go bad. Usually the raw food starts smelling really rancid around the 48 hour mark and right now um, we're probably at 
around the 36 hour mark maybe a little bit past the 36 hour mark so I'm gonna dispose of all the raw food and then like the dried food I'm going to put in their little bowl and recycle that Eat the meaty stick. Good boy, Splash. Good boy, Splash. Was that good? Was that good? Did you like the meaty stick? Here. Here. Eat it. You want it or no? Do you want the meaty stick? You don't want it? Guys, we are witnessing a first. This is a first. This is the first time Simba has ever not wanted a treat. Look at this. Oh my god. I hope he's okay. These are beef meaty sticks. They've never had beef meaty sticks. I normally don't even feed them beef. So maybe he just doesn't like beef. He just went under the chair to lay with Splash. Okay, Stella, you want your meaty stick? Stella likes to eat while she's laying down. She thinks she's a queen. Slow, 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 yeah. I'll try Simba one more time. Yeah. On it. Yeah. Want it? This is very strange. Okay, Simba doesn't want it. But look what they did. Look what they did to the couch. So they took the blue moving blanket off of this half of the couch. And then see like this plastic baseball bat? Well, that's like tucked into uh, the cushions of the couch just to keep uh, this cover on the couch. And they've taken this out also. Okay, so right now Boo is curled up under this chair near the door. He ate his food. And there's Boo and I have a meaty stick. And I'll give it to him there. I just, it's right underneath him. I'm not gonna hold it in my hand because he hasn't been there yet. He has not eaten anything out of my hand yet. And since it's late and it's dark and I just don't feel like you know, causing him any stress right now. So, it looks like he's eating that. Slow, boo. Slow. Slow. He's eating it so fast. Oh my gosh. Slow. Slow. Okay. There you go. I am going to take what's left of this food. And I am going to move it down here. 
just so it's away from him if he wants to sleep near that chair. Okay, boo. Go in your chair, boo. Go on top of the chair, okay? Okay, you have a good night, boo. It looks like he's been spooked by something. I don't know. Really strange. Come on, boo. What you doing? Hmm? Is he hunting something? I hope he goes on the chair. Go on the chair, boo. Go up on the chair. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna go inside. See you tomorrow, boo, okay? Go up on your chair. Go sleep on your chair. Okay, so after being away for like a day and a half, I just got home and this chirping noise is still chirping. So I just moved one of the ceiling tiles and I took a look inside and let me show you guys what is making this chirping noise. You see that smoke detector? I have a flashlight on it. Yeah, that smoke detector is what has been driving me crazy. So I need to open up the ceiling tile below it and take that smoke detector out. So when the people that own this house prior to me living here, um, they're the ones that finished off this basement. So when they finished off the basement, they put the ceiling up and they put it over the smoke detector. And there is the culprit. So the date on the smoke detector is September 18th, 2002. So that would make the smoke detector 15 years old. So here's the smoke detector that was on the wall that I just took down. Um, I need to replace this smoke detector. And then if we move, okay, maybe like one foot, two foot, not even three feet. That's where the other smoke detector is. You don't realize how nice and peaceful it is to live without a constant chirp every 33 seconds until the chirping stops. It is 8 a.m. The cats have been running around the house for the past two hours. Last night, that toy was downstairs. Looks like Stella took it upstairs. Eight thirty AM The boys are looking at something. I don't know what it is. If I walk in there, Splash is gonna run. Meanwhile, I just get out of the shower. And Stella has found my legs. I'm gonna see how far in I could go.
What are you guys looking at? It's okay, Splash. You could stay there. What are you guys looking at? What do you guys see? Hmm? What's outside, Splashy? What are you looking at? Hmm? What are you looking at? I'll move over here. You stay where you are. I see nothing. I don't see anything, guys. 9.21 a.m. It is 10 a.m. And I have not seen Boo today. There is food in the feeder, but I don't think it really looks like it's been touched. So, um, you guys want to see if Boo's around? Okay, let's see if he comes when I call him. Hey, Boo! Oh, there he is. He came right away. Hey, Boo! Hello, Boo! Hello, Boo! He's moving really slow. I wonder what happened. He's like being super cautious. He'll usually like run right up to me. Hello! Hello! Boo, are you okay? Are you okay, Boo? How you doing, Boo? Want me to brush you? You haven't been brushed in a few days. He looks like he's walking weird. Are you walking okay? Are you walking okay, Boo? Are you okay? What happened to you? He's walking a little weird. I kind of feel like he's doing a lot of things in like a slow motion. I hope he hasn't been like poisoned or eating something that he shouldn't have been eating. You okay, Boo? Unless he just woke up, but even then. I mean, he's not flinching when I touch him anywhere. He's like rubbing up against me. Are you okay, boo? Okay, yeah, he does. He looks like he's walking weird. Did you guys notice that? I don't know what happened to him. You need to rest, boo. Okay? I don't feel anything on him. Like he feels fine. He looks okay. I don't see any like gashes on him. I mean, there's that new thing, like, right here, on his forehead. I don't know what that is. Whatever it was, it was stuck and it came off. You okay, boo? Want some food? Want to eat? Okay, you want me to get you some food? You feel okay? Maybe that's why he's not jumping on the chairs, though. Maybe he hurt his leg again or something. And it hurts him to jump. I don't know. Are you okay, boo? Did you see that? Like, I just brushed him and he kind of fell back a little bit. Are you okay, boo? Okay, I just gave boo some food. This is the Nature's Variety Chicken Pate. I put a lot of water in there because if he needs to heal something, he needs a lot of liquid. In that liquid, I also put some herbal drops. Now what he needs to do more than anything is rest, even more than eat. His most important thing is just resting. And to me, I think it's this back leg. I think he did something to his back leg because that's the one it looks like he might be limping on a little. See it? See the back, notice the back leg? Eat your food, boo. Eat your food, boo. Are you okay? You want to go to the vet? Do you want to go to the vet, boo? I'm going to watch him and see what happens. 
Okay? I'll get the brush. Okay, you stay here. You stay. Stay here. I'm going to give Hydrox his food. So Boo is walking around. Um, if he broke something, he would not be walking on it. He's just moving really slow. I'm petting him. Yeah, he, he seems a bit out of sorts. That's the best way I could describe it. And to me, like a few times, it looked like he wanted to use that leg to like itch himself, but he didn't. So that's why I think he did something to that leg. He might have pulled it. You know, if you guys remember before, he had an injury to one of his front legs or his front arms. And um, that took a few days to heal. So basically, I did not play rough with him. I let him relax. He needs to rest and heal himself. Animals have amazing abilities, well, humans too, to heal themselves. If you just kind of get out of the way and let them do it. So he needs to spend a lot of time resting. So I don't mind if he goes and sits in the bushes and just relaxes there. I just don't want him chasing Hydrox or, uh, you know, hunting birds or mice. Okay. Let's see if I if I brush this, I don't I don't see anything on the leg, but he is kind of looking at the brush like don't do that. Okay, boo. You feel okay? You don't feel good. I know something's bothering him. You don't feel too good. Hey boo, you relax today. You relax and you take it easy today. It's gonna be 87 degrees, warm and sunny and humid. I gave you a lot of water. You got a big thing of water, right? And I also gave you food. Okay boo. So I took his towel off of the chair and I put it on the patio because sometimes he likes to lay on that towel. Um, and I think it's probably better for him not to jump right now. And if it is a hind leg that is bother him, that would explain why he hasn't been jumping on chairs. Okay, so I just put this towel underneath the chair in case he wants to lay on this towel. That way he doesn't have to jump. I'm going to brush Boo and I'm going to try to stay away from the leg. And this is what I want him to do. I just want him to rest. Just rest today, boo. Relax, okay? Just rest. See, I don't know if you guys noticed it. It was like he wanted to move the leg, but then he stopped. Just hang out. Don't run around. Just hang out and rest, okay? Yeah, he just did it a few more times. See, like, see? Do you see that? It's like when he tries to move this leg to scratch himself. Did you see that? He looked like he was in pain. So he might have sprained it. It does not appear to be broken. He has been walking on it. I mean, I brushed it a little bit and see, yeah, if I touch it, he doesn't like it. So, it's definitely bothering him. But I did touch it before and I did not notice anything, like any abscesses or anything. Okay, boo? You just rest, okay? You rest. Okay, so right now it's like 11.20. I just uh, took out the cat litter and vacuumed the entire house and I was keeping an eye on Boo. He was just laying where I left him on the black rug and um, he just ate some food. I want you to rest, Boo. Just rest, okay? Just rest. Relax today. Just be a good boy, okay? Just relax, okay? 
relax today. Yeah, he's just, he's not putting a whole lot of weight on that back leg. So we're gonna watch it and we're just gonna see if it looks like it's getting better or if it looks like it's getting worse. His front leg um, got better within, I would say like three to four days. So we'll watch, we'll watch the progression on this one and we'll see what happens, okay boo? Okay. The most noticeable thing is his like apparent lack of energy. And there's what he's doing with the back legs. But if he was in healing mode, he would be using all of his energy to heal the leg, so that could that could explain it. Okay, boo. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. He's, he's purring. It is so humid today. Oh my god. Stay. Sit. Just lay there. Just lay there and don't move, boo. Just hang out today, okay? Just hang out today. Don't move around. See the back leg? See how he's putting it up there? It's like a new stance for him. I mean, it's a good sign that he's eating. Oh my god, Hydrox is on the driveway, and he's rolling around on his back. I've never seen that before. I'm going to zoom in. Maybe, you, do you see him? You see Hydrox? Do you see Hydrox? He's out on the driveway, and he's rolling around. Now, I just gave Hydrox the same exact food I gave Boo with the same exact drops in them. I'm curious if Hydrox ate his food. Hydrox was just there eating his food. Yeah, it looks like he drank most of the liquid out of it. I don't see anything here that he would be like rolling around in. Okay, Boo. Be a good boy. Just hang out today. Don't chase Hydrox. Don't get yourself in trouble. Okay? Are you okay? The back leg looks like unsteady. Well, it's a good sign that he wants to be brushed. It's a good sign that he's eating food. Because when it's really, really bad, um, you know, they don't want to be touched at all and they don't want to eat anything. So. Maybe he's in recovery mode. You know, the nice thing about when cats live inside, you don't have to deal with most of this. Cats that have lived inside have not had any, any issues with sprained ankles or sprained paws or sprained arms or legs or anything, so. Okay, boo, hang out here today. You want me to leave? I'll leave your brush for you. I'll leave your brush right here, okay? I'm gonna leave your brush right there. I'll leave your brush for you. Okay? And you hang out with your brush. I'll leave it for you, okay? You have food, you have water, you don't need to go far, okay? I mean, there's the leg. I don't see any outward signs of anything wrong with it at all. It's this leg. I don't see any scrapes, I don't see any bruising. I don't see any fur loss. You just need to relax, boo, okay? Just rest today. Got it? You just rest today. Okay, so right now it is 12.35 
And there's Boo. He's hanging out near the bushes. You stay there, Boo. You stay there and you sleep, okay? You relax. You be a good boy. You just stay there and relax, okay? You don't need to walk around. Just stay there. Good. Stay there, relax, and I'll see you later, okay? You relax here. It's shady and it's cool, okay? So you just relax here. Yeah. You relax here. I'll see you later, okay? Be a good boy the rest of the day. Just relax. Rest. I want you to rest. Got it? Rest your legs, okay? Yep. Rest your legs, boo. Okay. All of Hydrox's food has been eaten. I don't know if Hydrox ate it all or Boo ate some of it, but it has been licked clean. That bowl is so shiny right now. Hydrox is right there in the bushes. I don't know if you see him, but he just came over from the driveway. As I was filming his bowl, he walked over from the driveway and he's in those bushes right now. So Hydrox is in a good mood today. I hope it's not because he's the one that beat up Boo. It is 6.33 p.m. and I just got home. I did not park in the driveway today. I parked on the other side of the house because I don't want to disturb Boo if I have to go back out. Every time I go outside, he gets up to greet me and he walks across the patio. And I just want him to stay put. It is 6.45 p.m. I'm just coming outside to feed Boo. Here's the food. They're getting chicken Shiva and some liquid. Right now he doesn't look any worse than he did before. He doesn't look much better, but he doesn't look any worse. So all of the food from before is gone. It's completely gone. I'm assuming he ate it because it's too early for other creatures to be walking around. Usually they don't come out until like after dark. So he wants me to pat him. Then after I pat him, hopefully he'll eat. Mm, I'm gonna eat your food. I'm gonna give this one to Hydrox. There's some ants in here. So there's a whole bunch of dry food in the feeder because it still has an afternoon feeding on it. Um, I'm gonna leave the two feedings on it today and then tomorrow evening um, I have to go to an event so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come back and feed the cats before I go there or what. So that's why I'm gonna leave it on the two feedings tomorrow and then the next day I will most likely uh, change the feeding setting. Boo licked up all the liquid in there, which is good because I put the herbal drops in there. So hopefully that means he's consumed most of it. Boo ate all of his food. Look, there's only a little tiny bit of food left. Hey, Boo. He just headbutted my hand. Would you like more food? Would you like more food? Mamora? Do you want more? One more? Okay, I'll go in and get more. Let me put it in the bowl. I'm gonna mash it up. Squash it up for you. There you go. There you go. Eat it up. Okay, he appears to be very hungry right now, which is a good thing. Because you know, when you're really, really sick or you don't really don't feel good, you tend to lose your appetite. So the fact that he has an appetite is good. He could definitely be in like recovery mode. This is the Sheba Perfect Portions Chicken Pad Thai. It's the same thing he had before. He had half of a can of it instead of the Perfect Portions. I gave the other half of the can to Hydrox. I don't want a chance giving him an upset stomach by mixing food in the same meal. Okay, Boo just ate all of that food also. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna give him another one. Okay, I just gave him another Perfect Portions 
uh, chicken pate and I also uh, put a little water in it again just because it's very very important for cats to have liquid and um, anytime there's any kind of health issues in the body you always want to uh, make sure the kidneys are working and filtering and doing their job okay boo ate most of that he did leave some there so I'm not giving him any more I think he's had his fill of food his spirit seemed to be better like um, his energy is up a little bit from before like he was super lethargic this morning and um, he's still moving slow uh, but his general mood is a bit better Alright, boo you rested today I hope I hope you rested today he's laying on his brush right now so I don't want to touch your leg okay I don't want to hurt your leg you're on your brush when we get your other brush okay I'll go get your other brush okay brushes make boo happy so I'm gonna brush him for a little while then it's dark out and I don't really want him walking around or anything so then I'm gonna go inside Okay, boo. He's all stretched out. I know it's hard to see a black cat on a black rug, especially when there's shadows. You're a nice boy, Boo. You need to just relax. Relax. Don't jump around crazy. And don't get in fight. I posted that video the other day where he was laying on the steps and he caught himself right before he fell off the step. So, you know, with the leg injury like this, I mean, it could really be anything. He could have been like laying on a table or a chair and, you know, didn't realize it and fall off and just jam the leg or land wrong or, you know, who, who knows? I mean, could have even been up in a tree and like jumping out of it. Um, Simba and Splash used to love climbing up into trees and then it was amazing how they got down. Now one thing I did not check was the paw on that leg. I did not check to see if there was like a thorn in it or something. But usually cats are pretty good at getting that stuff out. They're really, really good at grooming themselves. And he was, um, you know, standing on it. I, th I feel like if there was something in the paw, um, he wouldn't even want to, like, stand on it. How you doing, boo? He's a very happy boy right now. Happy boy, boo. Happy boy. Yeah, you're happy boy, boo. Okay, boo. Look at his face.
want you to get a good night's sleep, boo, okay? I want you to get a very good night's sleep so you could heal your leg. Got it? It's funny how he likes to use that tent as like a pillow. He's like laying on the tent right now. He loves those tents. I wonder if he remembers when he played with the kittens with the tents. Pretty boy boo. Pretty boy boo. Okay, so Boo's just hanging out here right now, and uh, there is the stool. I'm just going to leave that here, and I'm taking his food inside. I'm going to throw the rest away, and um, yeah, then I'm done. All right, Boo, get some good rest, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I came inside and washed all of the dirty dishes from outside. And here's Splash hanging out on this ottoman. He looks very comfortable. Stella is a very, very happy cat when she can eat all the food that she wants to eat. Um, so there has been some dry food out um, just so they could eat the rest of the dry food that was out over the past few days while I was away. And I definitely notice a difference in her mood and her demeanor. Like, when she's put on limited quantities of food, she can become kind of bitchy. And um, when she has like an all-you-can-eat supply of food, she's very, very happy. She's a very happy girl. Right, Stella, you happy girl? I'm not giving them any T-R-E-A-T-S right now. Because they really just ate like an hour ago. I can give them some later. I would like to eat something. I haven't eaten anything yet. Okay, so Boo is hanging out under the patio table right now. And that's one of the reasons why I left that little stool there. Just kind of in case raccoons show up or skunks or possums. It kind of acts like a little block on that side of the patio. Okay, Boo. You take it easy, okay? It is 10 p.m. And Boo is still laying under the patio table. I don't know if you guys could see him, but he's still laying on that mat.